This is how I describe Reverend Stroh in some ways, but it's more than what I put together. 
The word S describes Pastor Strode as surely a man of God who is also a servant of God, who teaches and preaches the word, strong in his belief of the gospel, that salvation is free to all who believe. He prepares his sermons and his scriptures that he is going to preach from early in the week with skill. He prays in season and out of season. He teaches us to be good stewards, the best that we can be. We appreciate you, Pastor Strode, and may God bless you. T is for togetherness. Reverend Strode brings us all together as one. And, and the Bible tells us that, that the church should be in unity. The church should be together, all as one in God's eyes. Whether it's getting everyone involved in Sunday worship service, keeping us informed through the calling posts, or seeking our individual opinions and, and, and thinking about our opinions and caring about those in meetings, Reverend Strode brings us together. Uh, Reverend Strode, we thank you and we appreciate you on this Appreciation Day. And thank you for the letter T, togetherness, keeping us all as one. R is for reverend, righteous, religious, resourceful, renewed, refreshed, reframed, redeemed, reverent, radiant, rational, ready, resilient, resolute, responsible, reasonable, respectful, remarkable, repentance, representative, reserved, rotund, revered, R is for Robert. Hello, I was given the letter O to describe our pastor, Pastor Strode. And I came up with about 12 words. And I'm hoping that the pastor, as well as the congregation, will agree with some of these words. I'm going to start out with number one, obedient. Number two, organized, very, very organized. Number three, observant. He observes things. Number four, open-minded. Number five, optimistic. Now, here we go. Number six, outspoken. Seven, official. Eight, original. Nine, obligating. Ten, on time. Eleven, orderly. And last, number 12, old. Fashion. I had to put that in there. Pastor Strode is very organized. He's very obedient and he is very orderly. Those are the three items that I think that are really uh, describe Pastor Strode. And I just want to let him know that we really appreciate all that he has done for us during this pandemic time. And we love you, Pastor Strode. You're always saying you love us. And there's nothing that we can do about it. So the same thing goes for us. We love you. And there's not a thing you can do about it. Hope you have a great day. These are just a few words that describe our pastor, Reverend Dr. Robert H. Strode. Devoted, dedicated, dynamic, dandy, dapper, dashing, debonair, decisive, distinct, devout, diplomatic, dazzling, dependable, diligent, dutiful, distinguished, doctoral, democratic, determined, disciplined, delightful. We love you, Pastor and Mrs. Strode, and there's nothing you can do about it. Sometimes I wonder why he even has anything to do to say or to fool with me, considering the fact that some 42 years ago, I put a dent in his precious cat rack. I was given the task of the letter E, 
And as we all know, it seems to be one of his favorite sayings. I'm so excited. Educated, eager, earnest, eccentric, elated, encouraged, enduring, enlightened, entertaining, established, even-tempered, exceptional, expressive, extensive, extraordinary, extreme, exuberant, enthusiastic, and experience. Good morning. Today we are observing our appreciation for our pastor, the Reverend Dr. Robert A. Strode. This is a time we say and show thank you for the work you have done this conference year. A pastor's work is never ending. He experiences many things, has many responsibilities, but he must continue. We are appreciative and want to show you our gratitude for the work you have done at historic St. Paul AME Church, Lexington, Kentucky. But wait, we cannot forget First Lady Shelby Strode, who stands by you as you lead the way. May the Lord bless you and may he protect you. May the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look with favor as you go and give you peace. Thank you for seeing the Lord in you.